Oh, sure. <laughs> so that is uh, called interaction, right? It's type of rapport with the audience. Thank you. OK, uh, progress in Ohio. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Vincent Wang. I'm from Ohio. Uh, Columbus, Ohio is the capital city of Ohio. Here today, uh, I am actually representing three organizations. I call it Three Musketeers in Ohio. So one is uh, Papa Ohio. Uh, uh, second organization is uh, OCAA, uh, Ohio Chinese American Association, as well as uh, Westlake Chinese Culture Association. Uh, so a little bit of background about these three organizations. Sorry. I change the Christine's. How do I? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you guys are awake. So how do I switch? Okay. Anyway, uh, I don't think I need slide, but uh, uh, it would be nice to have slide. But so. First, quickly, uh, Papa Ohio, uh, uh, it is a uh, state chapter of uh, the wonderful organization of Papa. Uh, we were formed uh, in 2016, and uh, the mission is to inspire, engage, and empower AAPI community uh, in Ohio. Uh, and also, OCAA was an organization in, uh, formed in, back in 2016. Uh, I know we had a uh, a lot of uh, local activities in 2016 uh, because of the Peter Lian event. So Ohio is one of the organizers, one of 43 cities. Uh, we organized a rally event in Ohio. So uh, after, shortly afterwards, we formed Ohio uh, Chinese American Association. Uh, the mission of OCAA is uh, unite all the Chinese Americans and also the supporters of China. American community in Ohio to raise awareness of civic engagement and civil rights in Ohio. Uh, Westlake, uh, Westlake Culture uh, Association uh, is a uh, traditional uh, Chinese school based organization. Uh, in the past few years, uh, it kind of expanded its mission from educating in language and culture to civic engagement. Okay, so these are the three musketeers in Ohio. So quickly about the activities we have been uh, working on. Uh, starting from six, uh, 2016, uh, uh, we listed three uh, activities. One is uh, supporting uh, Officer Peter Lian in a rally. We know the, the, the result was he was uh, acquitted for uh, the, all the criminal charges. Instead, he served like some community hours. And also, we held our first uh, civic uh, education-related activity in Ohio. Uh, at that time, uh, we have not heard about a uh, committee of 100 yet. We call it our event of a meeting of 100. So Chinese community and the American Polit Politics Forum, we invited 100 people, about 10 people, uh, 10 uh, community leaders in Ohio. We talk about the presidential election. That was the point that uh, uh, the folks in uh, mainland China immigrant community started more actively engaged in the political process. So we were live broadcast by the Phoenix TV International. And, uh, at that point, we started building other infrastructure to support uh, our community members. And also, I listed the UCA convention that high pay uh, started at, at that point. I didn't know happy yet. The, uh, we have a board member, uh, Xiao Jie, introduced me to UCA. That convention really opened up our eyes about the national politics and also national community engagement. Okay, I got 30 seconds left. I can go through all the events. Uh, 2017, we we had about 10 events related to civic engagement. Uh, we started Ohio uh, chapter of APAPA, and also we sent youth to uh, uh, Beyond Boundaries Youth Summit. Uh, we uh, formed the first uh, youth chapter of Ohio nationwide. Now, actually, we formed uh, uh, two chapters in Ohio, youth chapters. And also, we uh, engaged with a lot of social justice-related uh, items, like Sherry Chen. We held a rally 
uh, outside Sherry Chen's hearing in uh, Cincinnati, helping her to promote her cause. And also we have uh, various uh, voter registration activities. In, in 2018, we had about 30 events in Ohio uh, related to civic engagement. Uh, we had the Ohio uh, chapter grant opening. Uh, and also we uh, organized events uh, for Sherry Chen as well. Uh, also, uh, we work on a lot of uh, activities related to uh, some national issues like FBI director's comments. We uh, working with Ariani, uh, Haipei, and a lot of national leaders, 14 organizations, we put together sign up letters to encourage FBI to talk to our community. Uh, sorry, uh, so we also uh, send 14 interns to the Ohio legislature. Uh, that is part of the uh, internship program funded by uh, the wonderful VNA Vision New America. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention in 2017, we held uh, a Ohio, the first Ohio Civic Leadership Forum in Ohio. Uh, uh, Anthony was there to support us. Uh, we were able to get about 10 elected officials to engage with us. And uh, that really started our, uh, like, expansive engagement in the civic, civic leadership uh, related issues. Uh, so the impact of the, the CLF grant was uh, in 2018, I have a summer slide, we were able to uh, have like 30 events. Uh, we engaged with uh, 110 elected officials and also uh, those events reached about 2,600 community members across Ohio. Thank you so much.